welcome back to the adventure. Today we are talking about how to test antivirus software to verify that it's working. For most of us, antivirus software just sits down in the corner and appears to do nothing. That's me in the corner. How do we know that it's working? For demonstration, we will be using Avast. Let's open Resource Monitor and take a look at the memory usage for Avast. At idle, Avast uses roughly 371 megabytes of memory. Based on this, we know Avast is running. For the first test, we can open a browser and attempt to download the iCar test virus. Avast does properly detect the file as a virus. Fantastic! Now we know that if we attempt to download malicious software, Avast can block it. Next up, we have a tool called Spy Shelter that will help us test various aspects of Avast. Starting with key logging, simply click the Start Test button. Then we can go to any other window with a text box and start typing. Spy Shelter was able to capture all of the keyboard input, and Avast did not respond at all. Another test we can try is taking screenshots. Again, Spy Shelter is able to do so without Avast reacting. Now for a few tests that involve the system registry. Avast did not respond to either registry access test. However, with the startup folder test, we do get a prompt from Avast indicating that it's working. We have one more batch of tests to do using tools provided by the Anti-Malware Testing Standards Organization. We already manually downloaded the iCar test virus, and we know that Avast is able to detect it. What if we did not click a download link? Websites are capable of initiating file downloads, otherwise known as drive-by downloads. Avast is able to detect this behavior and protect the system. Detecting the test virus as an individual file is one thing. However, files can be compressed and included in an archive with other files. We can test Avast's ability to detect the test virus within a compressed file which it is able to do so. The takeaway is malware already on the system may be able to do what it was designed to do without a vast blocking it. However, entry points for new malware are well protected. That is how to test antivirus software to verify that it's working. Thanks for stopping by. See you next video.